there's a problem. The PlayStation 5 version of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 does not currently have a platinum trophy. So after 15 years following 17 Call of Duty Platinum trophies, MW3 will not have a Platinum. But what if there was a way to Platinum MW3? Call of Duty is my favorite game franchise of all time, going all the way back to the amazing MW2 2009, which I miss dearly. 15 out of my 38 Platinum trophies are from Call of Duty games, and I'm not ready for the end of Call of Duty Platinum trophies just yet. After doing some testing, I found out that there is indeed a way to Platinum MW3 and continue the Platinum pace. After buying the digital version of the game on PS5, I went to library. Over on the right side, I saw something beautiful. But it won't be easy. To unlock this platinum, we have to face off once again against Call of Duty's deadliest villain. We stand reunited! Endure many hours of grinding the new zombies game mode. Oh! Alright, that is definitely a sign to turn around. Dying and losing all of our gear. No! Really boring story quests. Ping a contract. Marking contract. Epic final boss fights. Oh, I'm so dead. Ah! And spend 30 plus hours killing 50,000 zombies. And don't forget to grab your snacks. I'm also going to show you how to save dozens of hours on this platinum attempt with some tips I'll show you a little later in the video. Oh, it just popped the act trophy? And comment down below if you didn't know how to get the platinum trophy for this game until right now. Then I was all set to attempt yet another Call of Duty platinum trophy. And then we arrive at another familiar place. All teams, eyes on target, phase one complete. The Gulag. And why are we playing as the Russians? Keep it quiet. It's here I was able to get my first trophy. Roger. Blackout. Three, two, one. Execute. Contact. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't even see him. Oh, yeah, we're going straight to veteran for sure. Let's go. First trophy. Let's go. And here's when you find the secret prisoner. Here we go. Commander Pistol. I mean, Makarov. The deadliest villain in all of Call of Duty history, who is apparently trying to start World War III once again. This is your commander, Vladimir Makarov. We have to be the ones to rescue billions of people and save the Earth as we know it. Keep watching to find out how. Wow. It's veteran, all right. Shortly after saving Makarov, he attacks a military port that Farah is defending. It's like an open world mission. It's time to try the trophy for parachuting from the crane to the main rooftop. Oh, great. Let's get it! Oh, where's the parachute? So where's the parachute? Thanks for the thanks for the knife. Oh, wow! Parachute. Yes. Okay. This is what I needed. It's in this building. So that that crane moves. So you have to parachute across. So we get on it over here. Let's go. Let's come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me up. Give me up. Give me up for the trophy. Ah! Uh, let's go. We did it. I really just grenaded myself. And self revives come in clutch. I placed the last tracker and moved on to the next mission. This is like literally Warzone, man. Okay, so there's a trophy for destroying all three helicopters with different kill streaks. So, so the mortar strike is found right here. Extract points for the nuclear right, material. Go. Affirmative. These helos are your primary target. They're closing on you, Captain. Defend yourself. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Right here on the map is where the precision airstrike is. We're gonna go ahead and might do that and we're gonna get out of here. Okay, next we need cruise missile right here. So they're actually on your radar. UAV, cruise missile. Cruise missile, got it. Trophy right here, let's go. For the objective. 
Boost, boost, let's go. Hello, hat trick, let's go. Then I started the next stealth mission that was pretty fun. For this trophy, you have to kill two enemies with one bullet five times. Two Cody, one shot. Those missions are there on the west. Two for one. Let's go. I think that was only four. The rest of the mission is pretty straightforward, except during the escape sequence, I ran into one big problem. Whoa, juggernaut, bro. All right, let's see if we can draw this juggernaut out. Funny. Uh... Oh no, no, it's like a flashback from Favela. Not as hard. All right, let's go. We're going to be late. No, 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 no. After that, we had to get the trophy back in the field where we need to acquire the key card in 90 seconds while undercover. I needed to sprint through some sections and walk normally through some sections so I wasn't noticed. The best way is to get in this office before the officer arrives. He's down. Target key card secured. Let's go. And Makarov continues his airliner terrorism once again, trying to start a world war by framing someone else. Yo, this definitely brings back MW2 vibes. Remember, no Russian. History. How could you kill your own people? No, I'm not kidding them. In order to platinum the game, we're gonna have to stop Makarov. There's this flashback mission when Makarov was captured and put into jail. My next trophy popped for shooting a gun out of the air during this ambush. Okay, so you're gonna wanna stand on this table and aim about elbow to shoulder height right here and wait for that gun. Yeah, that's like a pat in the back. Let's just end it right there just end it do you ever get stuck on the worst checkpoint ever whoa that might not be a good checkpoint oh please tell me it's over over <laughs> Finally. What's the rest of your plan? The next trophy is during this cool island mission. This is also a good place to get the spotter scope trophy. Let's go. Use a spotter scope to tag 60 enemies. Near the end of the mission, there is this garage, and we have to destroy all the nice sport cars. Alright, so I have an idea. We got company. Here we go. Those bomb drones? That works. Woo! Let's go. And I did it on veteran. Next, I had to get to the roof in under 45 seconds. I actually came back for this one after I beat the campaign. Check out the full video for this trophy linked at the top of the screen. Let's go elevator out of order. That would be the worst way to be taken out. You're just trying to survive at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Someone just crawls up with a knife. No idea where the sniper is. Any movement, Sergeant? Oh! Oh my gosh.
Execute the fourth sniper with a takedown. Any movement, soldier? Negative. Found the sniper, found the sniper, found the sniper. Don't shoot him, don't shoot him, don't shoot him. Don't shoot at him. Don't shoot at him. Nope. 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 Really? Sniper down. That wasn't a takedown? Visual on the sniper. Let's go. Clear. Frequent flyer? Don't try this on the island mission. It doesn't work. Oh, let's see if I can get it. That's really close. That was so stupid. This is the perfect mission to get the base jump. So we're just going to jump as far as we can. Crap. Let's go, frequent flyer. I also got Hey Catch right here. Oh, this is for another trophy right here. We should try to do it. And to make it harder, I did this trophy on veteran. All we gotta do is hit somebody with this and then blow it up. All right, I'm gonna see if I can sneak up on this guy right here, even though there's a sentry gun. So, oh, oh do not light that. Do not. Sounds good. Cool. Here it is right here. Woo! Going for two trophies, going for two trophies right here, right here. Oh, I almost got the sentry. Let's go. Also defuse the bomb on this moving truck for a trophy. Let's go. One in, I dare you. Oh, this is getting dangerous. I, I kind of want to get out of here. Next. This is veteran. Let's go. And another trophy pop next mission. Oh, we can shoot predator missiles. Your tax dollars at work. So after defusing all the bombs, Makarov's final attempt to start World War III is to destroy the Channel Tunnel right outside of London by planting a bomb. And if we want the platinum, we're gonna have to defuse it before it's too late. On a train full of civilians, hostages, victims. That tunnel's 500 feet deep and 30 miles long. And it's in moments like these that soldiers in Call of Duty have their finest hour. Makarov. What the hell kind of name is so good? Ready, breaching, breaching. See, uh, it's the route right here. Yeah. And more juggernauts. Oh, the juggernauts get hit by train! Yo, that should be a trophy. I just took out the juggernaut with the train. That oh, there's another one though. Okay. You snake cam. How do we disarm it? I need the manufacturer logo on the large socket board. Bear. Logo is a bear. Copy. Bear. Cutting the wire. Oh. Go ahead. Get your gun up. It's the final stand. Oh, we gotta defuse the bomb in time. Nine. Number nine. <laughs> Copy. Got it. Oh! Take this to hell with you, Captain. Never bury your enemies alive. No, 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 no. Give, give me up. I gotta get him. I gotta get him. 
Yo, I 100% just shot him. And with soap gone, now we have to defuse the bomb on our own. On the red flare. Red only. So I'm saying we cut together on three. Copy. Right, on three. One, two, three. Disarmed. Threat neutralized. Bomb is safe. One KIA. Sleep easy, soldier. See you down range, brother. We'll take it from him. Rest in peace, Johnny. After the campaign, it was time to clean up the remaining trophies. High wire act, kill 10 enemies while ziplining. There was a nice spot for this right here on reactor. And some quick huggies from the wife. I was able to destroy an enemy helicopter with a mortar strike right here as I would hide in the building. I call shotgun, drive with a sentry gun and get five kills. Three, let's go. That was quick. And there are five trophies to clean up after the game for finding all kill streaks, loadouts, plate upgrades, and weapons, so I had to run back through all the missions. With 15 trophies left in zombies, we're on our way to get that amazing 100%. In a few minutes, I'll show you what might have been my worst mistake in Modern Warfare Zombies. Run! Run! No! No! A joke, man. It was at this moment that he knew. He f And I have no idea how we're going to get the tier 3 red zone trophies. Oh! Alright, that is definitely a sign to turn around. And maybe we'll have some time-saving tips coming up too. And this is where I got my first zombie kill out of 50,000. Armor plates and zombies, bro? What is this? Feels pretty smooth, honestly. I don't even know where I'm going. Whoa. It's a whole map. This is just like, it's like Warzone, but zombies. And then I found something out that would change my entire zombie experience. Counter UAV. How do zombies have a counter UAV? Bruh. Is that a player? Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, the AI mercenaries hit hard, which is going to make the Warlord trophy very difficult later on. And after learning the ropes, it was time to start going for my first zombie trophy. Oh no, I'm stuck. If you were one of the lucky ones, right after MW3 came out, Xfil would spawn massive amounts of zombies. So you could actually grind the 50,000 zombies in 10 hours or less at these spots. Look at how many zombies would spawn. Sadly, the spawn rate was patched after the first week of release and the zombie kills will take much longer than that. So it begins. Let's go. Next game, I accidentally found these awesome Aetherium oh, crystals oh. that give you an instant pack a punch. Wow. I also started the story mode missions in the game. There are three acts with 48 long, boring, and tedious missions that you have to do to get the end trophy. Next, I started working on the gravestone trophy for getting 100 kills with a vehicle in one game. Three, four, five, six, 12, 13. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 27, 20, 29, 30. Oh my gosh. He's about to get a trophy right here. I wish I had this trophy. Give me a hand. Give me a hand, buddy. 2,000 years later. Yeah, he doesn't care about me. All right, screw this guy. I use my own self revive. Give me the truck. Whoa, guys. Whoa, whoa. Chill, 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 chill. Chill out. 71, 72, 73, 74. Critical damage. 92, 93. Let's go. All the zombies here look amazing. I wish it still spawned that many. You can get this next trophy by using the insured weapon you choose in the lobby. Let's go. I knew I was close, man. And I kept working on the main quest every match. Purchase a weapon from a wall buy. Kill 50 enemies with a wall buy weapon. Pack a bunch of work. Go show our friends 
Let's go. So nearing the end of this match, I realized I had so much money and it was a great time to go for the Perkaholic trophy with less than 10 minutes remaining. And remember, you lose all your money once each game ends. So it's either time to get the trophy now or wait till hours later when I have that same amount of money again. So I began recklessly driving around the map trying to find the perk that I didn't have yet. Then I realized I already had PhD. But by this time, I had eight perks, and it was too late to quit now. Then I remembered the Wonder Fizz machine from old Call of Duty games that would give random perks. And all of a sudden, I found one. Except, it was in the red zone. With one minute left until the map starts being engulfed in purple storm, and I can't exfil anymore, and only one perk left, I did what any rational person would do. I floored it to my first red zone. It's about to be insane. We're going in a red zone. It'll be my first time in a red zone. Sea town that's sick oh no don't get stuck don't get stuck don't get stuck and at this point my palms are sweating don't get stuck don't get stuck i think this is it bro where's the perk machine Bruh. i did it i did it i did it i think i'm dead though well i got it but I died. So does that mean I lose all my stuff? Then I remembered I could also get the tombstone trophy for getting your gear back after you die. Oh, we're just gonna give up. Plea for help, please. Please. Please, please. I mean, no one's coming for me, dude. Nobody. Two people left in the game. <laughs> all right, this is gonna be insane. We have to go back to where we died in the red zone to get our stuff. So here's what you're looking for. My tombstone stash right here. <laughs> Into the red again. It's just creepy here in general. It's about to get dicey. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, no. Well, we got the trophy, but I'm, you're literally one hit in the red. Look at this. That's the bad thing about playing solos in this game. If you run out of self revives, you have to lay on the ground for the rest of the game until someone from another squad decides they want to revive you. So don't go into higher tier battles that you can't win. I literally laid on the ground waiting for rescue the rest of the game so I didn't lose my stuff. Oh, come on, guys. No, no, no. You're so close. Over here, guys. Please, please. Oh, I think they might come. Come on, turn left. That sucks. Two hours later. And I had many, many more deaths. This is what I want to do to every mercenary in the game. Finally, after dying literally all day, a teammate completed my 20th contract for a trophy. We're done. Complete 20 contracts, let's go. But just because I got abandoned many times on the ground and lost everything multiple times. I'm coming, I'm coming to the rescue. Doesn't mean I won't try to save someone else. Clear out that Keep your ass in Brother, you're a savage. Let's go. This is the start of a normal game that may have turned into my biggest mistake in NW3. All these people just want to help me do my quest. It's awesome. So I'm chugging right along the main quest for the end trophy. I'm getting some pretty good teammates to help me with my quest and stick with me instead of running around lost. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. Oh, let's go. The main quest can be pretty time consuming or random. Like for this one, I have to redeploy and land in a different color zone or other quests that don't have much to do with the main storyline like destroying harvester orbs. I'm feeling good about everything so far. And it was going good. It really was. We're getting these quests done left and right. Did it, let's go. Still 20 operators healing aura. Okay, well, looks like I gotta extract. And I should have extracted. I really should have. Honestly, let's do this. I wanted to get an Aetherum crystal so I could start the next game with a Pack-a-Punch weapon. 
That's it? And after the quest, I still didn't have a crystal. And it would cause a huge delay the next game if I had to save up for Pack-a-Punch all the way again. With time running out and the storm slowly approaching, what would you do? Would you try to fit one more quest in so you could start the game with a Pack-a-Punch and save 20 minutes? Or would you play it safe by going to extraction, saving all your valuable gear, and living to see another day? I did what any reasonable person would do. Time to finish them once and for all. What a joke, man. It was at this moment that he knew. He and so I quickly set out for the exfil at the bottom of the map. Everyone had already evacuated the match. Gotta get out of here. Oh, I'm in trouble. But I didn't realize that the storm removes all the other exfil locations. Ooh, it's gonna be a close one, guys. So I bought a few gas masks. And the next thing I know, the exfil on the south side of the map is gone. And the last one is at the top of the map. I messed up. I really messed up, man. Not gonna be able to get there. I'm definitely not gonna be able to get there, man. Messed up, man. Totally messed up. My shot is this boat right here. There's no way I make this. I'm gonna lose all my stuff, man. Yeah, my stuff is gone, bro. Oh, I got a minute and 50 seconds. I might have a chance. I might just make it. I can't see a thing. 78 seconds. Come on. I might make it. I'm gonna lose everything, man. I, I don't want to lose everything. Come on. Oh, my heart is beating so fast right now. Come on, 40 seconds. No, come on. We're so close. It's our only shot. Go, 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 go. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not. It's over. No, it's the helicopter's right there, bro. He's right there. There's nothing more I can do. Run, run, no, 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 no. I'm dead. I can't believe that, man. All this stuff, guys. Are you all right? Perfect. Never been better. I literally missed it by three seconds. It's almost time for the final boss and how I skipped acts two and three to get the trophy 10 times faster. And there's still 50,000 zombies to slay. But first, more snacks. Order for pickup. And what would you like? Yeah, I'd like a medium pizza, a half pepperoni and ham and half cheese and someone was happy we ordered snacks oh i forgot i was oh no somewhere along Whoa. the way we hit level 55. the next trophy helpful stranger kept glitching but then i ran into the squad getting wrecked by mercenaries and i let him go down so now i just had to revive them without dying first Give me the trophy. I'm about to die, but please give me the trophy. Please give me the trophy. Please give me the trophy. Let's go. The oh, no health. I just saved them both. Just remember that. I saved them both for that trophy. I also had to pet a dog without it glitching. Let's go. Wait, he, he just glitched? Five minutes later. Oh no. <laughs> but this convoy better not pull up on me. No. All right, just let me get my dog, man. Fluffy? Sit. Sit, boy. Sit. Sit. I went through a lot of trouble to find the fix. So if you want to watch the full video on this trophy, it's linked above. Oh, he sat. Let's go. I did it. It's time to go, man. Beginning. 
My dog! No! Pimples! Come on, dog. Get in, get in. Oh! Get in, get in. Come with me. No! Oh, and of course we have to look out for mercenary ambushes. I have no idea how I didn't die right there. Hey, you want to do Legacy Fortress? I got a key. And so now it's time to siege one of the most heavily guarded bases oh, in Modern so Warfare Zombies, insane. Legacy Fortress. I know this because I tried. Oh I couldn't God. even get close with the riot shield. Oh. And then I ran away. So it was back to the drawing board. But you'll never believe what I found next. Oh, I got the Wonder Wall. And now, all I had to do was convince these random teammates to help me. So let's see if we can get them to help me do the trophy. I'm just gonna kidnap them real quick. Yo, we should do the Legacy Fortress. It's for a trophy. There's crazy loot in there. I can't believe I'm kidnapping them. And I think they agreed. In order to get the Legacy Fortress card, I had to loot a Mercenary Stronghold first. I love doing this at Mercenary Strongholds, by the way. <laughs> then you'll need all the kill streaks and all the Pack-a-Punch weapons you can get your hands on. I'm doing it with randoms. Let's go. We were having trouble getting to the base because of the helicopters, and the enemies have so much health. It was very difficult. Unfortunately, we ran out of ammo and had to disengage. I have no idea how I'm going to get this trophy with only a few minutes left in the game. This is a bust. So we resupplied and prepared for one last try as time was beginning to run out. Are you with me? Yo, this is like my little mini army. The chopper's back. But this time we took it down together. So I pushed into the base with barely any plates left and I thought this was the end. But we kept fighting. Time for the big guns. Whoa. Oh, we killed him. We killed him. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know how we just killed the warlord, man. I think that was my Wonder Waff shot, right? The Wonder Waff helped me clear the fortress so much easier, so it is definitely a huge tip if you're wanting to attempt this yourself. With only a few trophies left, it was officially time to conquer the dreaded right, red zone. Oh! That is definitely a sign to turn around. So the plan is to finish this quest and then get it to respawn five times in one game. To face the red zone, I took the best gear I had. Let's hope this goes well, because this is my only refined Ethereum crystal. Once it's gone, it's gone. But we're going to go for it this game. All right, here we're going. We're going for it. Pop it. Ooh. Give me up. Give me up. No! And now, I had to complete this trophy with the only gun I had left. The revolver. I also found out if your teammates complete quests while you're in the red zone, they actually count towards the trophy. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and get in red now. This contract should count. So I had to survive in the red zone until my teammates completed the quest. Alright, that should have just counted as one. Now I need to deliver the cargo four times. Oh, 
All right. Decoy grenades are clutch for this part. Here we go. Let's go. I got one. Let's go. And I'm going to get some loot too. Take it. I had to wait for the quest to spawn again. Right. I should have put a timer on. I found out after the fact that if you pick up all the other types of quests, you can cancel them by holding triangle. So the cargo delivery contract comes back faster. So I waited literally forever. And that's when I met these guys trying to steal my quest. Guys going for it. So I had to race him to the contract. Just took it, man. I lost the race, so I did what any reasonable person would do. I joined their squad, right as everything was hitting the fan, so the quest would count for me too. I just joined a random squad. Right, I'm gonna buy a jug, and we can use that if we need to do bounty target again. I'll just kill it with the jug. It's talking fast. They have this whole operation going. It's not this complicated, but they are doing it. They're good teammates too. Look, they waited on me through all this. Look at the mega abomination and eliminate it. Okay. I'll, do, I'll help him out. It's four. It should be four. So now there was only one quest between me and the trophy. And we almost all died right here. Yes. Then I tried the act two boss fight solo. I think I'm gonna make it. I think I'm gonna make it. How am I doing this solo? Oh my gosh. Bro, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Ah! And so here I was stuck at the end of act two. Then I had an idea. I joined the Modern Warfare Zombies Discord, link down below. They had a method where you split into two parties of three, then get into the same game and request to join the same squad to make a group of six. Let's go. So we're going for the six man trophy. I should have a full squad right here. I've grinded over 40 plus hours to make it here. We may not get another chance at this. Let's go. Let's go, final boss. Let's go, first time. By a sniper. So you can literally just run through it with a team. Wow. Come on, are we close? Uh oh. Here we go. Yo, we're eating through this thing, man. Yo, this is no big deal. What? We don't even have tier three guns, man. Let's go. What he gets all, let's go. Oh, it just popped the act trophy. Let's go. And that's probably my greatest time saving tip in the whole video. If you find a teammate that has already beat the final boss, you can skip all the acts missions and trigger the trophy, saving you 30 to 40 hours of time. Whoa. I have not seen one of these yet. I think it has infinite gas too. I haven't taken any damage. Can't move, I can't move, it glitched. What? And just when I died for what seemed like the millionth time, something crazy happened. There's no way he's gonna come for me. Hey, he's still on the way, we're still hope. 
There's indeed still hope. Is someone actually gonna revive me for once? All the way. This guy, Pumba. Pumba shoots first. He's the MVP right here. Despite all the other times I was left behind, he made it. Let's go, man. At least one person decided to revive me. And with that, just one trophy left. I had about 25,000 zombies left to slay. Like I said, the Xville spawn rate was patched a week after the game was released, but I found a spore control quest right here above the military base with spores really close together, giving a pretty decent zombie spawn rate. On average, I would get 2,000 to 25,000 500 kills a game this way depending on how fast I could get the quest to spawn and it's through grinding all these kills that I remembered how much Call of Duty truly means to me. I played these games for as long as I can remember. Whether life was good and everything was going well, or when life was trouble, I've played COD through it all. And although Call of Duty has really changed over the years, I don't come back year after year for the mechanics. I come back to remember the adventures and the memories that I love. From my first all-nighter I ever pulled playing Black Ops 1 and getting caught by my mom, to playing MW2 split screen all night and losing miserably to my friends in Rust. The amazing zombie easter eggs and sweaty league play matches to be able to have these memories with my friends has impacted my life greatly and so now we get to celebrate another year of call of duty with the platinum trophy Woo! here it is let's go a soldier's purpose yo honestly i don't care what anybody says it was a pretty fun platinum let's get a good look at it oh like the hundred percent man if you enjoyed even just a second of this video let me know in the comment section if you like call of duty or trophy hunting consider subscribing because we're definitely platinuming some more call of duty on this channel until next time this is platinum pace